What's up everyone, welcome to Stockton. It's a pleasure to meet all of you. On this channel, we talk about stocks before they start blowing up. Say goodbye to chasing stocks at all time highs and say hello to making some money. So if this sounds like something you want to take advantage of, then hit that beautiful subscribe button and like the video. Now let's get to it. Before we get into the video, I have to say that I'm not a financial advisor. Anything I say is just my opinion and is for entertainment purposes only. Having said that, if I'm talking about a company, I'll let you know whether I'm personally going to invest in it or not towards the end of the video. But you should always do your own due diligence. So with that out of the way, let's get started. One of the concerns that people had about BNGO when it had just started to take off was that none of their press releases about new studies or publications were peer reviewed by other scientists. Well, today we've had a new BNGO publication that outlines the potential for optical genome mapping with BioNano Sapphire system to be the foundation of a new workflow in prenatal genetic testing. And this article is peer reviewed by other scientists. This is what Eric Homlin, the CEO of BNGO, had to say. What we are seeing now on a consistent basis is a demonstration of utility for OGM in a variety of applications. Development and validation of OGM assays for prenatal analysis is an area where the field could transform itself and help physicians and their patients. Over the last year alone, we have seen a great number of publications and presentations that demonstrate Sapphire's prowess in cytogenetic analysis of genetic diseases, leukemias and solid tumors. While there remains significant work for these proof-of-concept studies to translate into broader mainstream adoption, we believe the momentum is strong. Development and validation of OGM assays for prenatal analysis will be a huge step for BNGO, especially if this becomes widespread in usage. Because you see, amid the COVID-19 crisis and the looming economic recession, the prenatal diagnostics market worldwide will grow by a projected 2.8 billion during the analysis period driven by a revised compounded annual growth rate CAGR of 8.3%. Prenatal diagnostics, one of the segments analyzed and sized in the study, is forecasted to grow at over 8.3% and reach a market size of 6.6 .6 billion by the end of the analysis period. So in essence, BNGO's Sapphire technology could potentially tap into a market of 6.6 .6 billion and this is just one of the areas that BNGO can transform. There are many other fields and use cases for Sapphire as we all know. So coming back to the actual study, OGM with Sapphire was used to detect a variety of genetic abnormalities in amniotic fluid and chorionic phyllis samples collected during pregnancy. The paper shows examples of how different OGM assays identified cases of trisomy 21 or Down syndrome, sex chromosome aneuploidy, where additional copies of the X chromosome were present. D. George syndrome, the most common microdeletion syndrome affecting about 1 in 4,000 births, a repeat expansion causing fragile X syndrome, and an unbalanced translocation in the fetus caused by a balanced translocation in the parent. The side-to-side -side reproductibility of the OGM prenatal workflow was also evaluated by analyzing five samples and replicates at two different sites on different instruments and with different operators showing concordance across both sites. So this is big news because can you imagine how big BNGO's total addressable market will be if hospitals start using Sapphire to detect any genetic abnormality before every birth? That's insane to think about and I can't even begin to imagine how big that opportunity can potentially be. Now, today wasn't the best days for BNGO's share price, but it's pretty much the same story for nearly every other stock out there. If you're a long-term investor, then you shouldn't focus on daily fluctuations like this because that can make you very emotional and one can easily make a bad decision in the heat of the moment. But anyways guys, that's it from me in today's video. Have an awesome day and I'll see you in the next one.